Hi, I'm Nathan, your first vice president. Today, you are going to view the final speeches of candidates running for ASB office. In the first round, you got to know the candidates and narrowed the choice down to two for each office. Now, in this second round, you're going to make your final choice as to who you want your leaders to be. Remember, these candidates will take office during the fourth quarter of this school year and be mentored by the current ASB officers, and then will take over the first three quarters of next year. Please vote for the candidate who you think will do the best job ensuring that this year's and next year's activities are a success. After the speeches, you will vote for one candidate in each office. The winners will be your 2019-2020 ASB officers. We have some outstanding candidates this year, but remember that making school-wide events memorable takes a lot of hard work and organization. Vote for who you feel will work hard and take this role seriously. First, you'll hear from Ben Branson and Trevor Morton, who are running for president. The ASB president presides at all meetings and oversees all areas of the ASB. When I told my family that ASB elections were coming up and that I wanted to run for president, my sister said that I shouldn't. She said I don't talk enough and that no one knows who I am, so it would basically be a lost cause. I really believed that I would make a great president for SAC, so, as she would say, full send, and I went for it anyway. So on behalf of myself, younger siblings, and middle kids everywhere, I want to thank you for helping me prove my older yet wiser sister wrong. But seriously, I want to thank everyone, even first kids like Skylar, for voting for me and helping me get one step closer to becoming your ASB president. There were so many amazing candidates, I really feel that it's still an honor to still be in the race. As I said in my first speech, I don't talk a lot, but I'm really good at listening and smiling. And I have leadership experience and the ability to work well with everyone. I truly believe that I have the qualities to be a great leader. And I would love the opportunity to prove it to you as the next president of Sacagawea. So once again, please vote Ben Branson for ASB president. Thank you so much. First off, I'd like to thank everyone who voted for me and congratulate all the people that ran. I'm not going to make any promises, but there are some things that I would like our staff to consider, such as having more cons or just ideas that you guys would like here so everyone can have a good time. I know you've already heard this a lot in other speeches, and I know you're just dying to hear it again, but I do want the students to have a say in what we do at SAC. As your president, it is my job to be a leader and be optimistic all the time. But if we're being real, everyone has days where they aren't feeling their best. So that being said, I want you to come to SAC and think I love being here because of all the amazing people and all the staff and all the events we have. So that being said again, please vote for me because every vote counts. Next, you'll hear Maddie Rollins and Calon Robertson who are running for first vice president. The ASB first vice president steps in for the president in their absence is and is in charge of all ASB elections. Hey SAC, it's Maddie, still running for vice president. Thank you for getting me to this point. Now, I played a little soccer in my day. And obviously, the main goal of soccer is to score. And my main goal of becoming vice president is scoring you, yes you, a better time at SAC. In games, my coaches often will need me to play different positions on the field that I'm not used to. To do this, it requires flexibility. I will carry my flexibility traits to the ASB team and I will listen to your ideas and adapt to any changes. Now, back to scoring you a better time at SAC. In soccer, it requires dedication on and off of the field. Just like at school, because I am dedicated to making SAC a more fun and welcome place for everyone who walks in through the door. And I am dedicated to doing this in and out of school. So don't forget to vote Maddie Rollins for vice president. Whether you're shooting field goals or kicking baskets, you'll be balling if you vote for Rollins. <laughs> uh, how should I do it? Um, he's as cool as Kona Ice or he's as... Oh, hi again. It's me, Kawan, and I'm just really shocked that I got into the second round. I mean, I'm speechless. Well, I'm really not because I'm announcing my speech right now, but so last speech I could call myself a penguin because I was like, I'll move inside to side. Oh, I, I like penguins too. Here's a penguin on my shirt, but okay. Anyways, 
Um, I think I'd make a great vice president because I'm a leader, I'm cooperative, I'm kind, and I'm as cool as Kona Ice. So I think that the vice president is, in, is a very important position and I think it has to be handled properly. And I think that I can do that. I have experience from elementary school and I think that that can lead to a good vice president. The vice president is also supp supposed to support the president, and I will do that no matter who the president is. I will not shut down others, and I will respect them and their ideas. Um, I believe that I have what it takes to be Sacagawea's next vice president. So vote for me, because I'm as cool as Kona Ice. Next, you'll hear from Jen Nakos and Sophie Spedden, who are running for secretary. The ASB secretary keeps accurate record for all ASB meetings. Oh, hey guys, it's Jen again. Sorry, I was just finishing up my yoga meditation class to help bring you Zen. And now I'm here to tell you about me and how if the hen or even Ken stole your vote last time, I hope I can provide you with some reasons on why you should choose me, even though the hen is pretty great. And you know what? I think that this school is so great, along with all the people in it, of course. I think that we should have a school song, and this should be it. Anyway, first of all, I strive every day to help our school and my friends, so basically all you folks out there, to help us as a school become better. Excuse me, become even better and to be more involved. If I were to be elected, I could continue to do this, but even more and more, and I think you see where I'm going with this. And second, I definitely wouldn't disappoint with my organization skills and note-taking skills. I'd be attentive to all the meetings and work hard to the best of my ability in this office if I were to be elected. And last, but certainly not least, I would be a figure you could look up to, to represent our school. <sighs> Boots and cats and boots and cats. I enjoy coming to school every day, hanging with my friends, uh, going to my classes, listen to my teachers and getting all those passes. Look up to me for your ASB secretary. And remember, not vote for this pen, not for this number 10, but for Jen to achieve your inner zen. Thank you for voting for me in the primary election. I'd like your vote again for ASB secretary. I will be a voice for your vision for SAC. I can't promise any more sports or spirit days, but I can promise to help your, make your vision for SAC come true. I will be available so anybody can come up to me with their ideas and I'll take them to the ASB board. As your secretary, I'll keep an accurate record of all meetings and keep the ASB organized, on track, and working for you, the students of Sacagawea Middle School. I am Sophie Spedden and I am asking for your vote. Next, you'll hear from Asher Coleman and Ali Delante, who are running for treasurer. The ASV treasurer keeps track of all income and expenditures and reports on our budget to the home base representatives. They are also responsible for signing all requests for purchasing or fundraising. Hey guys, uh, it's me, Asher Coleman again. Thank you so much for voting me into this next round. Uh, I'm one step closer to becoming your next treasurer and I couldn't be more excited. Um, I bet we all have something in common. We both like money. Some of you like to save, some of you like to spend, and I like to do both. I really want to do this, to challenge myself, but to learn and grow. To become better at counting, all while making new friends and making your dreams come true. All, no, oh yeah. I want these years to be the best years of both of our lives, and I think that can be done by getting everyone involved on hearing your thoughts and opinions about how school can be a more funner place. Right, Maddie? Um, whether it's creating new fun spirit events, clubs, or sports. I'll maximize the value of your money to get the most out of our money so that we can do more activities. I like leading. I mean, I've got to get all the leadership credit in Mrs. Agard's class somehow. Um, I've always saved my money for things that I really want to need. For the most value, I'll do the same with the school. The smarter we are with our money, the more things we can do. And with me as treasurer, that will happen. I always think about the bigger picture so in the end you will have what's best. Money is valuable just like each and every one of your votes. I will, I will make plans to make sure the money is spent correctly and wisely. I work well in a team environment. I'm responsible, usually. Um, I was, last year I was on the student council which helped with assemblies and other school activities. So I have experience. 
I'll make sure that we stay within our budget. I am open to new ideas and will consider them and not just blow them off. Tell me your opinion and thoughts and I'll make sure they'll be heard by everyone on the ASB Council, not just a few. I will work hard and you will not be disappointed. I'll make sure of that. I pay attention to details and will make sure nothing is overlooked to make sure our money is spent right. I will always make sure the expense reports are correct so you know where your money is going towards. I, just like you, want to get the most for our money, and I believe the saying goes, more bang for your buck, right? Well, good, because Ash knows how to spend your cash. What's up, Sack? Thank you for making me one step closer to becoming treasurer. To thank you all, I made up a little poem. Roses are red, money is green, and I'll be the best treasurer you've ever seen. I am trustworthy to have the watchdog role of financial manager. With my orderly mind, I can promise you that I won't lose the money, but I will make events, cons, and clubs the best ever. I assure you that I can design a well-balanced budget and stay within it. Thank you for considering me to be next year's treasurer. Remember, don't dilly-dally and vote for Ally. Finally, you will hear from Drake Klein and Sage Connor, who are running for historian. The ASB historian is responsible for publicity of all ASB activities, including making daily intercom announcements. My name is Drake Klein, and I am the historian for the people. As most of you probably know, my zodiac sign is the Cancer. That means I am loyal, dependable, unpredictable, indecisive, and pessimistic. Some of those may seem bad, but they are exactly what this school needs. I also fear rejection, so vote for me. Some famous Cancers that have inspired me to run are Kevin Hart, Messi, King Henry VIII, and most importantly, 50 Cent. All of them have changed the world and left their name in history. Uh, I plan to do that too, and my first step is becoming historian. They've inspired love in my heart, and now it is my job to inspire love in your hearts. If you vote for me, I will surely do that. What's up, Sack and Julia? My name is Sage Connor, and I was so happy to hear that I made it to the second round of writing for ASB Office. I just want to say everyone who ran did an amazing job with their speeches. Each Every speech blew my mind kind of like this. Kapow! Everyone did a really good job. As you guys know, I am running for ASB Historian. Not everyone likes school, but if I'm a historian, that can be a super fun place. Everyone likes to learn, right? Well, I guess not everyone likes to learn, but learning can lead us to all the fun activities we get to do. For instance, triple play at the end of the year and the Rubber Thunderbird. It can also lead us to after school activities like cross country, basketball, chess club, and the hip hop club. <laughs> what I am saying is all the learning can make SAC a super fun school. For me to make SAC a better school, we need to work hard and give it our all. So whoever's with me, thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Vote for me. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Scratch that. You probably remember my sunglasses in my last speech. And you're probably wondering, where are they? Well, here they are. Vote for me. Thank you for your attention during these fantastic candidate speeches. It takes a lot of courage to run for office, and we would like to thank everyone for running. Sacagawea students, this is it. Please vote on the ballot provided by your teacher for the candidate in each office who you feel will do the best job. Remember, this is not a popularity contest. This is about who you feel will make the best leaders for our school. Teachers, you may distribute the ballots at this time. Thank you.